So we made it through chapter one where we learn about CPUs and all that stuff, and, and you kind of have to understand how computers work and how they think to the extent that they think. And now it's time to start writing some code. So one of the things that you might do is you, and we encourage you to just install Python on your computer if you have a computer. But a lot of you won't have a computer. Perhaps you use an iPad, perhaps you're at a library, uh, perhaps you're using this even on a phone. And so in this class, you actually don't have to install Python. As you go further along, it, you're going to have to install Python because I've got everything working in the browser for this, and that's really cool. Um, but it turns out that if you're going to go further, you might as well have Python running on your home computer or your laptop, and then do these early exercises using a real text editor and your home computer. So. I encourage you as a model to do the homework on a real computer and then paste the solutions into the auto grader. But we understand that not everyone's going to do that and there are technical limitations. So don't feel bad about it if this is the way you do your homework. So what the Python Playground is, is a place for you to write whatever code you want to write. And the, all the rest of these things that I will show you and you will use are auto graders and there's a grade. Whereas this one is the one that doesn't have a grade. So you come up to the Python Playground. You might kind of want to bookmark this Python Playground. I'll click it and it opens in a new window. So what the Python Playground is and the auto graders are, is these are actual applications that run in the browser. So Python, it doesn't take any resources on the server. It's actually compiling the Python in the browser and then running the Python in the browser and then producing the output. And so this is a bit of code. And uh, this is the code that's here in Playground by default. It's not, it's more complex. It's actually from week seven because it's reading through a file and printing all the file out. Um, but basically this is a little text editor for you to write your code. And then you can run the code and it runs and then it writes the output here, right? So I could make this a much simpler print And then I could run this code. And so that prints it, right? This is just a way to do it. Um, I can make a mistake. So I can make a mistake and run it. And it says print mistake is not is defined on line one. So it's actually looking through and parsing the Python code and then running the Python code. And this reset code always gets you back to uh, where you started. Now, so that's cool. And one of the things that's kind of nice about this is a button that you won't see called View Student Code. And this is available to me and the teaching assistants. And this is a way for you to put some code in here and talk to the teaching assistant in the forum and then say, hey, and they look you up by name and they can look at your code. And we don't want you posting code in the forums because it's code in forums, you might think that just getting the answer is what you want, but it isn't. Because these programs that you're writing are super simple, and if you have the answer, then you've learned nothing. So if you struggle a bit and you say, like, just give me the answer, because you want to get on to the next one, but then the next one will be harder. And so each time you sort of skip learning, uh, they're carefully built so they're a little harder each time. And if you're not, having, you're not doing well on the first one, the second one's not going to be any easier. So it's not like you want to get through this in a hurry. You want to get through this with mastery. You want to understand it. So that's where, and so you might be working on a problem from chapter six, and you might still come back to the Python pro, pro, playground and put it in here and then tell the teaching assistants to take a look at it. Oh, they, they, they can look at your code uh, in the auto graders as well. So you can kind of put anything else, the, the, anything in here that you want to run code so that you can explore and play with Python and test things out. Um, in the next assignment, the next time you'll see this will be in the mode of an auto grader.